Kathy in Dublin, Ireland writes to me, and I love Ireland too. Of course, I've pretty much loved everywhere I've been. <laughs> Although I must say, New Zealand is probably the highlight of all my, all my travels. And I just, oof, well, what a cool place. Hi, Paul. I signed up on the website for your free book. Good job, young lady. And I hope I get a copy to read. I do as well. And look, I, th I think we've got a couple hundred people signed up already. And I'll probably give away two, three, four hundred books. So if you want a copy of Emian's for free, the book number one, which is the Aurora Project, I'll be sending out, there'll be electronic copies, and we'll send PDFs or ebook or whatever. Um, maybe we can give uh, access to the, uh, the audio book. Once I get that, I gotta find a narrator for it. Oh, boy, there's a lot of work to do, putting a book out. <laughs> and finding the right narrator, huge. If you have any suggestions, just send them my way. But anyway, if, if you want, go to emians.com, double E-M-I-A-N-S, E-E-M-I-A-N-S.com, and fill out the appropriate form. If you have a question for me, uh, that's the place to put it, or to order, order your book, and then once it's, we all have a chance to read it, uh, we'll give you a chance to review it on Amazon and help me get the book out into the world so people ca can find it. Anyway, um, I'll be happy to post a review if I like it. Thank you, my dear. Uh, can you tell us something about book two of Emian's? Sure, I'll tell you a little bit about book two. I don't want to give away too much because we're still working on book one. Well, we're not, it's, it's written, I don't mean that, but working on getting it out into the world. Book two, so book one starts in Greenland and then we wind up in Antarctica where these giant discoveries are made. We meet our bad guys and, and you know, there's a real cliffhanger at the end. And then book two comes and we take a completely different course. Book two is they came first, they came first. And it's all about the Emian. So we start out with our main character, Laum, who is an 18-year-old Emian, male, and his, the love of his life, but she doesn't know it. Um, and we have a great little romance thing going on here. Aluria, she's an 18-year-old girl, and they're both scientists in the Emian culture. And it takes, when you start reading it, you realize that this is near the end of the Emian period of warming where, as we know what happened, the global warming uh, greenhouse gases came up for nobody knows why. Of course, in the book, we're speculating that it's the Emians themselves, and that's how we join the group and find out what they're doing. And as the, as the story progresses, you learn that they're in this very parched area, things are not so good. And I just, I wanted to speculate, what would it be like in North America when, and if we don't do anything in our current climate crisis, if we don't do something, this is the same thing that happened during the Emian is gonna happen to us. So I tried, as temperatures rise, uh, there will be huge storms. There will be, you know, some areas are going to go nuts. Some areas won't be able to be around in. Some areas will dry out. There will be no more water. I mean, you know, the climate is going to, when I say climate change, that's exactly what it is. It's going to change rather dramatically. Glaciers melting. Greenland is going to, is already melting. Antarctica is already melting. So those things are happening. So I wanted to imagine what was it like during the Emian, when they went through that same thing. And what were the humans doing? <clears throat> and how did they respond and how did they, that? so that's what book two is about. Just me imagining our characters in North America and what they went through and how they, these are, these are two good kids and they're gonna go through a crazy adventure. <laughs> And I'm not going to give away any more than that. But that's book two. They came first. And then book three, The Carbon Wars, um, that 
book picks up where book one left off, and now we are back on the trail to try, well, you know, our heroes are, are returning, and we'll see what happens. But there's a huge big deal at the end, so I think you're going to enjoy it. All right. That's about as much as I'm willing to give out on it. Thanks for all the questions. And again, if you want a copy of the book or you have a question you want me to answer on YouTube, go to emians.com, E-E-M-I-A-N-S.com, and fill out the little forms and we'll take care of you. Okay. Thanks. And talk to you later.